Nine years ago, a video of a courtroom trial spread like wildfire across the internet. During the proceedings, the judge, while reviewing the suspect's files, unexpectedly discovered that he was actually a former middle school classmate. Did you go to Nautilus for middle school? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry oh. to see you there. I always wondered what happened. Fast forward nine years. How are those two classmates from the video doing now? Let's rewind to June 30th, 2015. Arthur Booth, 49, was in court for a bond hearing. Booth was no stranger to jail, in and out for almost half his life. This hearing was just another trial after countless arrests. The presiding judge was the attractive Mindy Glazer. Initially, neither recognized each other. However, as Glazer listed Booth's offenses, he remained expressionless, showing no signs of remorse. Then, his composure broke when the judge posed an unexpected question. I yes, ma'am. Did you go to Nautilus for middle school? The sudden query left Booth stunned. It was then that he recognized the judge before him as his best friend from middle school, Glazer. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry oh. to see you there. I always wondered what happened to you, sir. Oh my goodness. His emotions yes. softened as he recalled their past friendship, eventually breaking down in tears. Meanwhile, the judge said, Mr. Booth, once one of the brightest students in our middle school, and I were good friends. We played soccer together, studied together. Simply put, we were both top students. So now in this courtroom, I hope Mr. Booth can truly start anew after this. Maybe when you and I first saw this story, we were just as puzzled. How could the academic star Glazer spoke of turn into the criminal before her? What exactly happened to these two former close friends? So, the story goes like this. Booth was born in Miami Beach in 1967, the eldest in his family, showing exceptional intelligence from a young age. During elementary school, he taught himself Spanish and excelled in math and science. At age 11, he was early admitted to Miami's top Parrot Shell Middle School. As Glazer mentioned, they met there and became close friends due to their shared academic interests. They played soccer together, discussed academics. Among their peers, they were considered top-notch students, praised by both parents and teachers. Booth aimed to become a neuroscientist, while Glazer dreamed of becoming a lawyer. Both worked diligently, achieving excellent grades and gaining admission to the best local high school. However, in 11th grade, Booth's life took a downturn due to family issues, leading him to develop a gambling habit. He lost interest in academics, resorting to gambling to make money. After several big wins and losses, he became addicted to drugs and turned to theft and burglary to fund his addiction. At 18, he broke into a shop and was arrested, sentenced to prison. Upon release, with a criminal record, he found no opportunities for education or employment. Meanwhile, Glazer persevered in her studies, eventually earning a Bachelor of Arts degree from the University of Miami and later a law degree from St. Thomas University. Glazer steadily climbed the ranks and eventually fulfilled his dream in 2000 by becoming a judge. Fast forward to 2014, after nearly 30 years in prison, Booth successfully overcame his addictions, was granted parole, but within eight months of release, he was arrested again for theft. This final theft marked a pivotal moment in his life during a hearing that reunited him with Judge Glazer. Although they recognized each other in court, Judge Glazer still set Booth's bail at $43,000, which his family couldn't afford, resulting in a one-year prison sentence. This encounter with Judge Glazer spurred Booth to resolve to escape the maze that had trapped him. In 2016, after serving just 10 months of his sentence due to good behavior, Booth was released early. On the day of his release, he was greeted not only by his family, but also by Judge Glazer. Facing the cameras, Booth promised, I promise I won't let you down again. Over the next nine years, Booth indeed turned his life around. Reunited with his long separated wife and children, founded a successful catering company, and now serves as a successful manager in a pharmaceutical company. Two years ago, he even purchased his own large house. His life changed completely at the age of 49 due to a court reunion. As for Judge Glazer, her story took a remarkable turn as well. On another occasion in court, she recognized an old acquaintance and helped them turn their life around. But that's another story. Currently, she remains a respected and upright judge as evidenced by a video from May 22nd this year where he sternly rebuked a suspect. The dollar store? Yes, 
Paris, Maryland. He said he went into the store, picked up multiple items. So count one, there's probable right cause for petty theft, $500. Count two, battery is $1,500. I'm not giving him free trial. It's a bond. Let him post a bond. It's $2,000. 500 count one, 1500 count. All right, that's the end of today's story. See you next time.